first one is just to take a whole snapshot of your screen. You get your menus, you get your windows, you get everything. That is command, you know that little thing that looks like that, kind of? I'm not very good at that. They used to call it open apple. Shift three. Command shift three takes a snapshot of your entire screen. Command shift four gives you crosshairs. And then you select what you want. And when you let up, it takes it and saves it as a screenshot on your desktop. So you can choose. Command Shift 3, it's going to take the whole picture and save it as a file on your desktop. Command Shift 4 is going to give you the crosshairs and let you select what you want to capture. And it's going to put that on your desktop. Now there are way more options that you can use, but those are the main ones. So here's why I'm bringing this up. Let's say I wanted to take this Yarrow head that I have, that's the yellow one, and I wanted to put it into my blog because this is what we were doing in class today, and I had four kids gone for track meet or whatever, and I want them to know what we were doing, but I don't want to reproduce this lab, is what I think about for science teachers. So I'm going to take a screenshot of just that bud. So I'm going to do Command Shift 4. I get this little crosshair. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click and drag. I'm just going to get that much. Now, what I'm going to do, um, Command H is hide. So I'm just hiding some things here. And now on my desktop, you can see there's this little icon called Screenshot. If I double click on it, there's my bud that I took. It's right there. It's a JPEG image ready to put into PowerPoint, word processing, website, whatever. Cool. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Can you put it in a file? Oh, you could do whatever you, you want. Whatever you want. Okay. It right. just saves it there for you to then do whatever so, you want. Okay. Yep. That's cool. It always calls it screenshot and gives you the time and the date. So you can figure out. The second part of the Mimeo view that I think you're going to love, especially as a science teacher, is the video capture piece. Now, the Elmo document cameras have had this capability, it's just no one probably showed you that it can do it as well. But here's what I can do. I can actually record my movements here. So I'm just gonna back this up a little bit. And I have, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close this. Is that just so. video or is it voice recording as well? It's voice and video. Don't Thank you. Bad. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can just so imagine. Be aware. <laughs> so I just closed that window and got a new window to get rid of that line that I drew in there because I don't want that to be in there. So you have a little um, camera, camcorder camera icon right here in the bottom. When you click on that, it brings up this little recorder window. And you have a choice. If you look on your recorder, look on the right hand side, there's a little down arrow. I can record the desktop or I can record a specific area. When it says record the desktop, it means your full screen. So record the full screen or just a certain area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose just a certain area. Sure, yeah. I'm going to get those crosshairs again. And I'm just going to record just this much. Now, when I let up, I'm actually recording. So I need to do something, like manipulate this guy and show you that this can move over here and this can move over here. And yes, it's picking up my voice as I go. And when I'm done, I just come up to my menu or to my taskbar because there's a little um, movie camera icon. I click on that, it pauses. See that it says paused right there? Mm -hmm. If I want to play it, I click play. It's going to come up and say, okay, you want to stop what you're doing? And if I say no, then I can add to the recording. But I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And what it's 
going to do is it's going to process that video and then it's going to play it for me when it's done. It actually is based on the storage of your hard drive, so you could make a really long video with your new computers. <laughs> so, you know, honestly, if you want to do anything with them, you're going to want to keep them under two minutes, you know, like two minute chunks. Mm -hmm. So I'll just play this just to give you a quick idea. Now, when I let up, I'm actually recording, so I need to do something, like manipulate this guy, <laughs> and show you that this can move over here, and this can that's cool. Get it? So let's think about this. Let's stop for a minute. We've gone through the view and what it can do. The only thing we didn't do is hook up the, the microscope part, but all you do is literally attach it. And then you stick it under on top of your microscope. So when kids are gone, that kid that struggles, you know, whatever the case might be, Think about the implications for them, especially if you had a site for them to go to or a computer for them to use or whatever, that you put all your videos or creating those screenshots and then putting instructions, mm -hmm. you know, kids that are That's gone, cool. kids that need that extra help. I didn't do anything special except for install the software that we're going to install right now.